Today we're diving into the surprisingly straightforward world of blocking someone from your life. This isn't going to be an extensive guide on the psychological theories behind human behavior or the intricacies of social dynamics. Instead, I want to show you how simple it can be to distance yourself from someone who's draining your energy or causing you distress. Even if you've never had to cut someone out before, it's still good to know because, shockingly, life doesn't come with a manual on managing toxic relationships. First off, let's address the elephant in the room, the concept of social ecosystems, akin to biological ecosystems, where every interaction has an impact on your emotional health. Think of yourself as a plant. In the right environment, you thrive, but in the wrong one, you wither. The curiosity here isn't just about why some people are toxic to your growth, but how you can identify and remove these harmful elements from your life. The answer is rooted in understanding that just as a plant needs the right soil to grow, we need a healthy social environment to flourish. By recognizing and removing toxic influences, we can create a more nurturing space for our personal development. Next, we explore the psychology of boundaries, a topic often overlooked yet crucial for emotional well-being. Setting boundaries isn't about building walls, it's about defining your space and what you're willing to accept. But what makes boundary setting both essential and challenging? This curiosity unfolds as we delve into the science of personal space and autonomy. Respecting our boundaries teaches others how to treat us and, importantly, reflects our self-worth. Establishing clear boundaries is the first step in distancing ourselves from negativity allowing us to foster healthier and more fulfilling relationships. Understanding the importance of communication in this process is key. It's not merely about telling someone you need space, it's about conveying your feelings and needs effectively. Why then is communication so pivotal, and how can we ensure our message is received as intended? The intrigue lies in the method of delivery and the clarity of our message. Effective communication involves expressing our boundaries respectfully and assertively, ensuring we're heard without escalating the situation. This approach not only clarifies our stance, but also opens the door to mutual understanding and respect. The strategy of phase disengagement introduces a tactical yet compassionate way to distance oneself. This isn't about ghosting or sudden cutoffs. It's a gradual reduction of interaction. The suspense builds as we ponder over the ethics and execution of this strategy. Is it kinder to fade away than to cut ties abruptly? The resolution lies in the realization that phase disengagement allows both parties to adjust to the change, minimizing hurt feelings and potential conflict. By slowly reducing our availability and engagement, we respectfully distance ourselves, allowing both parties to move on more smoothly. Finally we touch upon the concept of self-care post-separation. It's not enough to simply remove someone from your life. Nurturing your well-being afterward is crucial. But what does self-care look like in this context and why is it so important? The curiosity here is about the healing process and how we can support ourselves through it. The closure comes with the understanding that self-care reinforces our decision to prioritize our mental and emotional health. Whether it's through hobbies, therapy, or spending time with loved ones, nurturing ourselves helps us recover and grow from the experience. As we wrap up, it's clear that blocking someone from your life is more about self-preservation and personal growth than animosity. The most challenging aspect is not the act itself, but navigating the emotional and social implications with grace and respect. Remember, it's okay to seek guidance, whether through resources like better help or talking to trusted friends. The goal isn't to isolate ourselves, but to cultivate a supportive network that enriches our lives. So if you're considering distancing yourself from someone, know that it's a step toward a healthier, happier you. And remember, in the vast landscape of human connections, it's essential to nurture the relationships that bring out the best in us, allowing us to thrive in our personal ecosystems.